In this video, we're going to look at the relationship between Ka and Kb. So it turns out that we can, through the process of the fact that a conjugate acid and a conjugate base are inherently linked in their chemistry, it turns out that we can come up with a relationship for Ka and B, Kb where we can actually calculate a Ka, a Ka from a Kb or vice versa, a Kb from a Ka. So let's look at the case of acetic acid. So when you put acetic acid into water, this makes H3O plus and acetate, its conjugate base. And when you put acetate in water, we know that this is the conjugate base, so this is going to act like a base. This is going to make hydroxide and acetic acid. So they're kind of reversed from each other. It's kind of an interesting thing. So if we write out the Ka for this, Ka is going to equal the concentration of H3O plus times the concentration of acetate divided by the concentration of acetic acid. And so if you write out the Kb for the conjugate base, you get OH minus times the concentration of acetic acid times the concentration of acetate. And so something interesting happens when you, um, when you set this up. So if we were to multiply Ka times Kb, does this equal something useful? And I'm kind of, the, way, the reason why I'm going to multiply them together is if you kind of look, the acetate is on top in one and on the bottom in the other, and the acetic acid is on top in one and on the bottom in the other. So those are going to cancel. So if we take Ka times Kb, if we take Ka times Kb, the acetates cancel out, the acetic acids cancel out, and what we're left with is the concentration of H3O plus times the concentration of OH minus. And we know that this equals Kw. So it turns out that when you multiply Ka times Kb, we get Kw. And so now we have an equation that allows us to interconvert Ka and Kb. So if we know a Ka, we can calculate Kb by uh, taking Kw divided by Ka to give Kb, or vice versa. And if you remember, Kw is the autoionization constant, which is 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14th at 25 degrees Celsius. So this is a constant, and so therefore, with, with any Kb, we can calculate a Ka or vice versa. So that is the relationship between Ka and Kb. Ka times Kb is equal to Kw.